Good afternoon everyone. I'm playing with the jelly plate. Um, I want to do some more pictures. Um, I used to do loads. I haven't done any for a while so um, I've got some uh, canvas ready. Uh, I'm just put that there for decoration so that the screen doesn't go all blurry. And um, I've got some multi-purpose cloth here as well. Um, as soon as I can get it wholesale again I'll get some more in my shop because it is really nice stuff to print on actually. Um, but so yeah, so I've got a bit of canvas. This I've been sort of using as a mop up. I've done um, a load of printing for yet another journal, um, a daisy one this time. So the picture I actually want to do is going to right, bear with me. It's going to be about that size. It's going to have a bird on it, and what I intend to do is use him as a mask, um, so that I get all the decoration around it, and then inside. Um, I'm going to go back in. I've got the uh, negative. Ooh, bear with me. So I've kept the negative. I've just done it on the Cricut machine, cry cut machine, Cricut machine, whatever you want to call it. So I've got the, um, once I've done the background, I'll use this to actually sponge in the colours that I want on the bird. Because then I can highlight his wings and stuff like that. So, And then I intend to do free motion embroidery all around him. And... Uh, the background um, I'm going to do the background quite bright so you might think Phew. but then I'm going to layer it with organza and some other bits of fabric just to make it um, look like a pieced well it will be a pieced um, picture so uh, yeah so I thought I'd bring you along for the joy um, let's see if we can mess this one up shall we you know me so it's a lovely Sunday afternoon here. It's absolutely baking outside. I am not venturing out in that heat. The cat has decided that's enough and she's just collapsed on the bed. So um, yeah, neither of us like the heat. So um, this is a cardboard template that I picked up at a craft show. Um, I can't even remember where I got it from, but I would imagine that's, uh, yeah. Got it from the craft show but i can't remember who from um all right let me think so i need him blocked out so if i put that down as well yeah so i just i just want to make a background fabric that will be um nice and bright underneath the uh organza and stuff like that that i'm intending to use sorry i'm a bit blurry and i uh let's put that on there I say I'm going to go quite bright with these. Um, I've got another one of those flowers somewhere. Bear with me. Digging. Where are you? Ha! There you are. Um, I might not use that actually. I might just do a flowery background. Ideally, I want to get rid of that straight line, don't I? Let me just chop that off. Bear with me. So I hope everyone's well. Um... I know we're sort of semi out of lockdown, which is all good. Um, looking forward to be able to, to get some fabrics. Not that I need any, I'll be honest with you. I think that's the one thing this um, lockdown has shown us all, actually, that, um, you know, we don't actually need half of what we think we do. So if I... No, it needs to go there, doesn't it? It's not going to match up exactly, so let me just chop that side off. I just don't want the hard lines on the edge, uh, uh, you know, halfway through the fabric, basically. So, uh... right. I could just... Oh, should I? Nah, it looks a bit messy, doesn't it? I'm just going to do that. Maybe I'll just have a gap there and we'll just have the colour through there. It'll be fine. It's, you're not going to see much of this anyway. As I say, it's going to have organza on it and pieces of fabric and everything. So I um, just want to make sure I've gone big enough. Yeah, more than big enough. OK, right, I've got to get the right side of this. Right, that's the right side. Right, let's stick some colour on. So, like I say, I'm going to go quite bright. I'm just using um, acrylic paints. If this was going to be a bag, um, I would use the this stuff uh sorry gac 900 from golden it turns 
uh, acrylic paint into a fabric paint actually basically so i mean i have got fabric paints which i really must start using because um i would imagine they're gonna sort of go out soon i've got to do this fairly quickly sorry i can't uh, can't dilly dally so i just want to do some splotches everywhere let's get the yellow Come on, faster. Get out. I've had to shut the window because um, there's a quite a nice breeze coming through, but um, it's drying the paint super quick. So, oh, come on. I'm hoping I've cured my filming problem. Um, I hated putting those other two videos up in that stupid orientation, but I, I just, you know, they needed to go up basically. And... Um, if I hadn't have, I hadn't have done those, um, yeah, it'd have been a while. I think, um, I think basically, I've just been so blooming tired. I just haven't, I've kind of lost my patience with stuff. I'll be honest with you, but um, the world is back to normal now. My my daughter that wasn't well has now gone home, um, so she'll be back to normality. She's a lot brighter, bless her. And such a shock that was. Nothing quite like getting a phone call at half half ten at night on a Sunday, and your child is sobbing with the pain she was in. Love her. So, grandma to the rescue. What would they do without us grannies, eh? I've no idea if this is going to work. This is a whole experiment, and you're with me. So well done. <laughs> Right, let's see if that's going to work. This could be an epic fail. You know me. I like to show it like it is. <laughs> so, if I take him off now. It's not a brilliant outline, but it's not bad. Right, okay, I'm just going to let that dry for a bit. So we'll waft. And then, um, just trying to think. So if I do, like, uh... So my bird is going to be kind of a, what would he be? I think he's called a robin on the cricket. So um, I might do him with his red breast. Yeah, I might do a robin. And then um, uh, oh, I don't know what colour to do. So really it needs to be like a brown, doesn't it? Two seconds. I didn't get a brown out. Definitely. Let me get my box of paint. Can you see a brown? Can you? Can you? Can you? Nope. Right. Let's have a look. I've got like a nice. What is this? Crim. None of that is English. It's a semi transparent, so that might be quite good actually. Definitely don't want blue. Don't want black. Um. I might put that, it's quite a nice heavy body paint and that would hopefully lift a lot of that for me. Oh, I've got a metallic bronze. Ooh, tempting. I must have a brown. Okay, I've got a little diddy one here. That's acrylic. Right. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the transparent one on. No, I'll put this one on first, then the transparent, and then that to lift it, the uh, creamy one to lift it. Oh, let's give it a whirl. It can only go wrong. And uh, if it does go wrong, then um, I just use it for something else. It's amazing what you can do if you uh, want to patchwork a bit of fabric. Right, not too much paint, Susan. Okay. Get the lid back on that one. Let's get these open and ready because it's going to have to be quick now. Because it's all going to dry on me. So it's so warm today. I think it's up to 22 here. So, Right, okay. Let's uh, clean that off a bit. Ooh, good job I did that. That would have been on my bird. 
Right, okay, let's get the bird on. It's not going to be perfect. I'm not expecting it to. I just want a rough outline that I can then get my... Um, whoop, uh, b -b 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 the... Oh, crikey, come on, words. I can get the negative down, that's the word, and then stencil through and uh, do my bird. I don't know if I'm going to need the cream. Shall I try it with that transparent? It's quite a good covering. Right, let's give it a go. Okay, get it the right side up. Yep, check, check, check. And... There this is where you hope and you pray that A, you've got your fabric up the right way. Yes, I have. Ooh. And um, B, it um, it transfers. So it might be too hot today. It's best to do, for me anyway, it's best to do it on a, a duller, colder day. But let's give it a go. Lots of rubbing, lots of praying. Oh, sorry, hold tight. Sorry, right, I'll do it gently. You're still wobbling. I've took you off the bookcase because I think that's what the problem was because the camera was at a weird angle and I think that's why it was um, doing what it was doing, which as you probably could tell was very frustrating. And I can't see my bird outline at all. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, flipping heck. Of course he's transposed, isn't he? Right, I can just see his head. Okay, right. What I might do is forget about leaving a patch for the bird and just concentrate on getting that background a bit brighter because that's, that's, that's completely lost, all that colour that I put down there. Okay. See? Epic fail. But, you know, you might as well get it live. So what I need to do is go back on top with some, sorry, this is going to jiggle the camera a bit. I do apologise, but I'm doing it as gently as I can. Maybe I should have put the cream on top. Well, no, because that's, wouldn't have brought the colours out, would it? Okay, more colour. I might do patches this time as opposed to, because those flowers are sitting in the background anyway. And... Um, Oh, I just thought I've got that flowery um, organza. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Um, do I need to do any more then? Sorry, I'm talking in riddles, aren't I? I've got a. Um, I think it's like a voile that's heavily embroidered with flowers and that, and uh, he might look really good on there. But then that's kind of cheating, though. No. Come on, come on. You can do this. Right. Let's just get some. Let's get some bright pack. I'm running out of paints. Can't wait for Hobbycraft to open. I need to restock on my acrylics. Are you going to come out or not? Oh, crikey. Yep, yeah, there you go. There's your answer. Right, I've restocked the um, Etsy shop with um, journals, fabric packs and all sorts. So um, if you need anything, just um, crack on and... Get an order in. Sold a couple of journals lately. That's been really lovely. I love it when people, you know, just think my stuff's good enough to buy, I guess. It's quite a compliment, I always feel. Anyway. Blimey, that's bright. Still, like I say, it'll tone down with the organza. I'm not worried. I quite like bright anyway. As you probably have realised by now. Um... Okay, I'm just going to gently lay that on. I'm not going to press too hard. That's better. A little bit of colour. Ah, oh, yes, perfect. Yeah, that would be great. Because that will show up as sort of like a, a, a garden, you know, a flowery garden background. Just get some more on there. bit more up that one sorry if it's jiggling the camera okay 
yeah I don't know if you kind of get in what I mean yeah so you just see there you've got the subtle background and I can always go in um with a a stencil sponge and you know and sponge in some flowers if I want to but I actually wanted it to be quite sort of vague if you like the background so um like I say I'm going to layer on organzas and I've got some lovely um flowery fabrics that I, I you know I might do a patchwork piece on it anyway it'll be a work in progress which I will show you updates of course um now then I've got this other bit it's like a heavier canvas this one it was just a, a piece that I got left I found it in my box of bits so um um let's see if we can pull this up use this slightly heavier cream it's um it's really good for I'm sorry this might jiggle the camera so you just have to bear with me sorry this is the problem when I take it off the bookcase um it's on a little uh shelving unit that I've got at the back there uh, it's sort of pegged on there and um uh, it, which is directly on the table so that's why it's causing a lot of jiggling so let's put that there that'll do all right hold tight it might jiggle and i'll be so sorry if you do um i've also done a cut out of a swan i was going to do a swan one as well but i don't know i'll have to think about it uh, if you're interested, I'll show you some of the bits and bobs I've been up to. As I say, I'm sort of semi gathering for a daisy, daisy journal. I've had the urge to do it for ages because um, oh look at that crusty bits. Um, I had uh, this, I had this lovely uh, decoupage sheet basically, and it had these beautiful sort of. Well, they're not sort of, they are daisies on it. Um, so I've just been gathering all bits and pieces that's even daisy related um, to start a journal. I'll show you the papers in a second. Let me just, uh, let's pull this up and see what we've got. All right, not terribly exciting, but it's workable. It just takes that plane, it's gone, you know, so... You can see you've got some nice sort of texture and well it gives it texture it's not texture but it gives it substance and uh, makes it look nice and pretty so i've just seen a bald spot on this one so let me just see if i can pick up some of that nope come on just want a little bit for there please that's not going to do it is it that's okay it'll cover up Right, so that's those two. That was it, really. <laughs> I bought you wrong for the boring bit, didn't I? Okay, well, now I've got a nice dirty gel plate. Uh, I wonder if I can pick that up on paper. I finally bought, gave in and bought some sort of creamy coffee, coffee coloured um, paper because, um, sorry, you're jiggling. Uh, I think I've told you before, I am not the best at coffee dyeing. The last batch wasn't too bad, but um, hmm, that's interesting. Um, but it wasn't brilliant, so um, I thought well, if I start off with a coffee creamy coloured fabric, this is just water, just try and lift some of that off of there. Um, if I start off with a, a coloured paper, it might make life a little bit easier, but we'll see. Probably not knowing me. Anyway, let's get some of this up if we can. Sorry, I'll go so quiet when I'm doing this. Oh, interesting. Ooh, very interesting. I like you. What is that? A splodge of paint, by the way. So let's get it off. I had my granddaughter doing this. She loved it. She thought it was hilarious. Well, I can splodge it on, Nanny. Yes, darling. Just splodge it and roll it. Oh, she was in heaven. <laughs> Is 
is funny. Right. Okay. Oh, oh, I'll just dump those over there. Right, let me show you what I've been up to anyway. dump these on there it's all right it's paint's dry anyway yeah so i'm just sort of doing this um where those bits go there they are just trying to sort of theme it up a bit bit of blue in it so it's the tags I, I might cut this up and use it it's a it's another one of those paper die cut things but obviously with daisies um i have got another one so i might chop that up to put in uh this next um journal um i Quite a cricket machine. Um, cut a load of uh, leaves, which are lovely. I thought they were really nice leaves, actually. You don't get many. It's on the, um, if you've got one of these. I don't know if you can still get this, but um, it was that um, thing program, basically. So, yeah, it's a nice one, actually. There's not much on it um, compared to others, but uh, what is on there is very decorative. And then I've got some big, big daisies. I've tried it with watercolour paper, actually. That's quite interesting, the way it's taken the paint quite differently. But, you know, they're, they're fine. They're great. They do fine. I'm, they're used, you know, for snippets and what have you. So, um, and then I did some of the, it does a a tag option on it. I won't, they won't go on here, but um, I'll do some. But I thought that was really effective. So I'll, I'll back these with a smaller... Oh, actually, I wonder if they'll fit... Um, hold on. Oh, I think they're too small. That's those packs I got from the works. <clears throat> but yeah, these are too small. Oh, dear. Okay, never mind. I'll um, I'll cut some for that. It's no problem. Not a problemo. Uh, right, that's all those bits. Okay. Uh, that's the tags. That's the box of all sorts. Let's put that there. And these are some of the papers that have come off. I just wanted them to be quite subtle. Sorry, the sun's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, I wanted them to be quite subtle. Um, I've just been laying them flat underneath there. Managed to get half a daisy on that one, so I was quite pleased with that. But you know, they'll be beautiful papers for in the journal. Really looking forward to. I love gel printing. I love this kind of thing. It just, you know, even though it looks a little bit like, mm, but actually, you know, you'd only get half of that. I might not put that one in. <laughs> I might change my mind on that one. Um, but yeah, it's um, sort of ghost prints on the daisies there. Love that. And that, you know, it's just great. It's almost like you sprayed it with ink, actually. But And that's a really bright, sunny one. So is that side. So yeah, I've actually made quite a lot. Um, you just see the daisy uh, stencil coming through on that one. And I've done some greens, obviously. But yeah, they're just, you know, they're just a little bit. I, I didn't want them to be heavily patterned. So I've got it on the edges there. And the other side has got the bigger. I just thought they'd make really nice papers. That's a bit weird having that in the middle, but you know, I thought I can always stick a doily over that to hide a little bit of it. I'm not worried about it, it's fine. The crusty bits here, beautiful. This is a little bit peach, so um, this one might really get toned down with some gesso because it's a little bit that one. Um, the other thing that the um, Cricut machine cuts is. I'm going to use the scoreboard. I ought to use the scoreboard, really. Anyway, it makes a little trifold card. Um, so I thought I'd make some little um, paper pad things, you know. But I don't want to fold them yet. They're still a little bit damp. That's watercolour paper. So, um, yeah, so I've got some nice crusty bits there. And that's just plain on the back of that one. That's fine. Um, that's got the um, diner green uh, shiny, basically. And then I, um, the last attempt at um, uh, coffee dyeing, oh dear, um, I made a load of, I did a load of envelopes, they came out rather dark, but you know, they're alright, they're okay. And I managed to get some, again, some crusty bits off there 
for the envelope so that'll be nice to decorate i'm really i'm really striving to just do these you know to get all these bits properly done like um like you see um the others do so um yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna try try my best at um oh there's the other bits I wonder where they went. I knew I did two of those, uh, just little coin envelopes. And then I uh, gel printed onto a, it's not glassine, it's a um, grease food paper bag. So I might chop that down the middle and do long tags to go in these. Um, yeah, and that took really well actually. I, I was worried it wasn't going to. You get the light behind it. Yeah, so cool. That's all good. Um, potentially, this is a journal cover. It's very light at the moment, but then I thought maybe with some white um, felt behind it. Have I got anything white? No, of course I haven't. Don't be silly. I'm going to see if that shows it up any better. Yeah, I thought with some white felt behind it. I don't know if you can see. And then I would go in and free motion and just highlight the um, daisies on there. It would be a very gentle, you know, very subtle... I guess it would depend on what colour um, threads I use as well. But I thought that was quite nice, and I've just I've left a, a bit of room in the middle here for a, um, you know, a thingy, <laughs> a journal. What's it? Oh, gold. Okay, so yeah, so that's all in the making. I've literally just done all that, so that's fine. Um, yeah, might use, might not. Don't know. Uh, so I'm just, I've got it under two heavy books because I'm trying to squash it to make it all go a bit flatter. So I'll just put those back where they were. Okay. Um, I think that's it really. It's not very exciting, this video, is it? Uh, I could do some more printing. Where are we at? What time are we at? 26 minutes. Okay. I'll do some more gel printing. I'll try and... Um, I'm sort of looking at that and I'm wondering whether I need it to be even brighter than that, actually. So that's going to have layers of oil on. This is going to be very light, isn't it? Right, let's, um, I'm going to try another layer. Just get this rice, really nice magenta pink out. Uh, yeah, I know what I'll do. I will put, um, I'll smush this out and then I'll put the, stencil on top remove quite a bit of it and then um, print that onto there i just want something to really lift it to really brighten it up i've run out of white paint i can't believe it um what can i use something nice and bright that's what's this one it's like an orange has it been opened yes it has all right let's get that smooshed around where's me what's that one and that one and the fabric's there. Okay, let's do it. Try not to make mud. Please don't make mud. I still haven't learned about my colours and, you know, what's complementary and what will mix together to make brown. Oh, I really ought to, but I haven't. Right, let's put that one there. And that one there. Out of the way paints. Bib bib. Okay. Oh dear, excuse the sniffles. Right, sorry, you're gonna jiggle a little bit, I do apologise. Let's just try and get some of this up. So I've got to work pretty fast because it is already oh look at that. It's already drying, I can feel it. Okay. Let's have a look at what we've got underneath. Let's see what that pulls like, shall we? Could have completely fluffed it up now, but it doesn't matter. It's a piece of fabric. Let's not lose any sleep over it. Look at that when that pink mixes with the orange. How amazing is that for a sunset? 
All right, let's see if we've completely fluffed it. No, a bit brighter. All right, let me, sorry, you're going to jiggle like mad. I just need to really press down now. Yeah, a little bit brighter. Okay, let's leave it there before I completely mess it up. And uh, come on, tears before bedtime. And let's see if we can get some of that nice paint up. I'm loving this big gel plate. It was well worth. It was so much cheaper than the um, uh, Jelly Arts one. This is a. Where's my box? It's a. It's a gel press one. It came with a broken box. Look at it. I've had to patchwork it, but that's fine. I don't that I needed to keep it. This is the big clamshell packaging they come in. Um, so yeah, this is the gel press one, which was half the price of um, the Jelly Arts one. So, um, and it works just the same. I've got a, a Jelly Arts one, the smaller one, um, but. Uh, show you the color on that look at those whoa it's dry now so i can't transfer it uh yeah and it, it works just as well and i don't know who makes them well obviously it's gel press but i don't know if it's i don't think it's ranger is it oh dear it's well dry oh god right okay let's give it a quick spritz of water see if we can get anything off of here because that's some gorgeous colors isn't it Actually, while that's soaking in, I've now run out of water. Let's grab a, another bit of fabric. Because that might make... Oh, what have I got here? No, I'm not having this. Hold tight, sorry. Talk amongst yourselves. Two seconds. Just hastily cutting another bit of this uh, weird and wonderful fabric. Which, as I say, it's not ironed, unfortunately. I did iron the other one, but that'll be all right. Um, I usually stock this in the shop, but I've not been able to get to the wholesaler where I get it from. Because obviously they're closed at the moment, so... I've only got the one that has like a fleecy backing on it, which is great. I mean, it's sort of like ready, ready-made quilting. Right, sorry, I just need to rub really hard so you're going to jiggle, so I do apologise. Let's me smusher. There he is. This is a wood turned. It's meant to be a, ca a tea light holder. I've told you about this before. If you watch the you know the video that I did. I drove him nuts when I was looking at them all and trying them all. See which one was the smoothest. Bless him. Yeah. See what we'll do. Let's see if we can clean this plate off, even if it's just a little bit. I'll put the heavier bodied cream on. Right, sorry, you are going to jiggle. I do apologise. Basically, when you put that paint back on, or on, over what was already there, it uh, reactivates the paint that was underneath. Um, and that's the whole idea of what we're doing. Let's just see if we can clean some of this paint off of here. I love all the crusty bits, but... Sometimes... They're a pain otherwise. Yeah, see look at the look at the effect she get. It's beautiful, isn't it? I think everybody loves the crusty bits. I don't know anyone that doesn't. Alright, that's a little bit cleaner than it was. Yummy. <laughs> Make a nice border or something. 
And it's still filthy under there, isn't it? Okay. Well, that's all right. Yeah, I can use that. We can do something with that. Let's see if any of this is still loose enough to come off. Are you going to play nice or not? This sort of stuff is great for collage work. Um, which I might do with these bits actually because that's really lovely. Got a good flowery pattern in there. Right, Let's see if we cleaned it off a little bit. Oh, come on. That's where the paper rips, isn't it? Nice. Oh, I should have put the whole sheet on, shouldn't I? Never mind. I didn't know it was going to pull up that well. It always remind me of like old buildings, you know, where the paint's just peeling off when it does that. It's lovely. Love it. Right. Okay. Well, there we are. Um, all sorts of loveliness. So that's the uh, that's the lighter one that we've just done, and that'll be the one that me uh, me bird will go on. So I might position him sort of. You see in this? Yes, you are. I might position him in down here actually, and then do some um, grasses and things up there. Uh, yeah, so I just want him as a. Well, actually, what I will use is is this um, is the negative. Settle him down there. Yeah. Right, I shall get on with that and I'll um, update you with the progress on that and see how I'm going. Um, I might have to back it, although this stuff doesn't pucker usually, not that badly anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on the progress. No idea what I'm going to do with this. But again, you know, just a bit of fabric piecing on there. I've got rid of the plain background, which is what gel printing is really good for. Um, you know, it's great for just taking away... And this, I might just rip this up um, for a snippet for me, um, Daisy. Can you see the daisies there? Yeah, for my Daisy journal. Right, okay, well that's it. I'll um, sign off now and let you get on with your day. And I uh, hope you have a lovely day. Um, what's today? Monday? Oh, it's Monday, not Sunday. Why did I say it was Sunday? Anyway. Uh, yeah, work in the next three days. Um, so, yeah, hopefully be back Friday. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye.